and how the new work rolled on. Now I have to tie the ends of the old stuff and pull it through. But it's done in sections. There's 24 strings in each section. That's between these pins. And this is the device that you use for doing it. A simple metal thing that uh, they're kind of generic. You bend them to fit whatever lube you have. Or there's some looms I actually use a C-clamp to hold it in place. But I gotta tie a lot of knots. And these heddles, you know, if the loom is completely empty, you have to get the string through the heddles and through the reed. It's called a slaying hook that's used for snagging a string and pulling it through. But you can see like this section here, I tied yesterday, now I gotta pull that through, but first I'm gonna tie a bunch more and then do it one shot. And then I will get back to it if I'm lucky. There are, uh, you know, the place I'm doing it, there's a lot of coming and going, and sometimes there's music playing, which of course I can't, you know, have a video on my music playing, or I'll get a copyright strike. So we'll see. This has been difficult trying to do it with, like I say, people coming and going. But it's a pretty basic operation if you've done it a few hundred thousand times. And like, see, I did this, I worked it once a couple of weeks ago. I tried the video then and it didn't work because there's too many people coming and going. But at that time, I used this color combination. Now, what I'm using now is a slightly different mix. This, I was thinking, you know, mallard duck, pheasant rooster kind of colors. Now I went with a more of a spring and the Easter sort of color combination. The interesting thing is when you do this, sometimes you will accidentally run two colors up against each other. But all of a sudden you think, oh, that'd be interesting to do just that combination. Like here, you have these two greens. It's a myrtle green and a light green. I could do an interesting combination of those two on my four harness. But a lot of times you don't think about it until you see the actual spools sitting next to each other or you have to, like I say, tie two of them next to each other. Like even here's a piece, a uh, part of a section that was on before. And I happened to notice that and I was thinking, okay, you know, that would be a very interesting color combination to do on the four harness. You've got some colors here, like the myrtle green and the red, that are kind of 50s reminiscent. But when I do combinations like that, I usually do them on the four harness, not so much on the two harness. Though there are things you can do on the two harness with combinations, but Depends on the material as to what Ma's got here. I am kind of better with just a, a random mix or seemingly random, but you know, it's random only within the 24 strings in each section, but they're consistent throughout the whole thing. Okay, this is the new warp that I put on. Uh, you can see it's more pastel y than this was. The old warp, which is more of the primary colors, but I got to tie it on and and there, see, well, there you can be. In. That is my mother, ninety-one years old. This is her little <laughs> ninety-one in a day.